So here's a nice little question as an example of equilibrium shifting. And I like to ask something like this to see if my students are paying attention and they're on the ball with this concept. Okay, if I said, here's a reaction, it's an exothermic one where Ag positive plus Cl negative is in equilibrium with AgCl solid in solution. That's actually uh, the reverse reaction for something that we're going to talk about in a few minutes called precipitations and calculating KSPs. But here's the deal. We write a reaction like this, we say it's exothermic. I would say, well, what is the equilibrium expression. What are you going to write down there? K equals what? K equals, well, that's a solid, so it's not put in the expression. And that's heat, and heat's not written in there either, it's just that just tells us it's exothermic. So it's 1 over the concentration Ag positive uh, times concentration of the Cl negative. Aqueouses are put into the expression, so it's 1 over concentration of those two chemicals equals K. Great, you got a mark. Now, list all ways possible to increase the AgCl in solution. Okay, so here's the thing. You're going to say, well, okay, I want to increase the AgCl, so I want the reaction to shift to the right. So what are all the ways possible to make the reaction shift to the right? Okay, you could add Ag positive, absolutely, and the reaction will shift to the right. If you added more Cl negative, would the reaction shift to the right? Yes, it would. If you decrease the heat, would the reaction shift to the right? And in this example, yes, it would. Now, kids sometimes don't like to say, well, okay, and if I uh, increase pressure, it shifts to the side where there are less moles. So therefore, that's it. Uh, 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 the rule is, increasing and decreasing pressure shift to the side where there are less or more moles of gas. If you don't have any gas, you can't use pressure. There ain't no gases here, you cannot use pressure. If you use pressure, then you get that wrong. And I usually go right ones minus wrong because I want to make sure that my students know this stuff. So now look, you cannot use pressure here. Okay, fine. Now, oh, but Ken guy, you didn't mention one other thing. How about removing the AGCL? Now look, you cannot remove and add a solid or a liquid, if there's only one of those, in a reaction to make an equilibrium shift because it's not in the expression. If the AgCl isn't in the expression, there's no shifting possible to be able to reestablish a K. Look, if it's not in the expression and it's a solid, it ain't gonna affect equilibrium. So you could add it or take it away and it doesn't matter, it's not gonna change and make a reaction shift. So, here's the deal again. It, basically, and that makes sense, because if you've got a saturated solution with AgCl, Ag positive and Cl negative ions in there, you remove the solid from the bottom, that doesn't influence a precipitate to occur. You still have a saturated solution, and no crystallization is going to occur. Done. But here's the deal. If you, if you, but you cannot add or remove a solid to make an equilibrium shift. But can you manipulate other chemicals to make more or less of solid? Yes, you can. It's still in the reaction and it will be influenced by a shift, but it cannot be manipulated, the solid or a liquid in, re in solution, to be able to create a shift. That's the rule there.